Okay, this is my review of the Montgomery Ward Signature 2000 video camera. I'm not using a shotgun mic, but I'm about to put one in so you can hear much better audio quality. And here we go. Okay, now I'm using a Tac Star shotgun mic. And this is the Signature 2000, I guess by Montgomery Ward. And if you look at the date, it says October 1989. This thing is like 25 years, 26 years old almost. That's crazy. It takes full size VHS tapes. I didn't know how to make this review to get the whole thing in the video, so I had to zoom out a lot. And I bought this March 7th, 2015 for $20 from a guy online. And I had to meet my friend Mark the same day so he can give me the forty dollars that I let him borrow and I had to meet the guy that's on the same road as by the Kroger where Mark lives so it worked out really good because it was convenient for Mark to pay me back that day and it was the only day I can go buy this from the guy and that was really cool to, that it, like I did both on the same day look at this this thing is heavy it takes full size VCR tapes, but I mean It's cool that it does have a nice little grip now, This is from the late 80s, so It is very big and uh, the, This is where the battery goes. Let me actually show you that I Did pull one out so you can see this review is gonna be a little hard because this camera is huge Look the battery goes in Probably got it in backwards. Let me try. Yeah, it had to be backwards because that would definitely go in first. And I guess there's a way that it might stay in there unless I got it. Yeah, there we go. It actually stayed, I guess. It goes in at least. Okay, here is on the back. There is speaker volume, tracker. This is a little, a little knob. I mean, um, it goes up and down for speaker volume. There's a tracking. Remote control, I guess, plugs in right there. And this might be adapter. I guess it says C manual, so I'm not sure. Take the battery. This thing is heavy. Let me uh, show you this. If you look close, it's VHS, HQ, and you see that. There's the hand grip. Look at this. Eight times zoom. There is a nice little lens cap. Eight times zoom is probably, it might be optical zoom, but I don't even think they had optical zoom in the late 80s. So it's probably just not even digital. I don't know what kind of zoom it would be. But here is a little lens cap. Does it even go on? This is weird. It must be missing something right here for it to actually go on all the way. Not really sure. Let me show you this side. There is... Now this is awesome. A little light switch. I don't know where the light is though. I guess you have to actually have a light on there or something. Fader button, shutter. And this is pretty cool. A little... Yeah, this is a zoom lens. It says... Here's a little macro thing. The record button that's pretty cool that's right there this is almost like a news camera like a news reporter camera they put on your shoulder and it, this is a shoulder camera it's got to be because look you would have that on there and you rest it this part on your shoulder okay and then uh down here is a record preview this thing's heavy to hold i mean it's probably like 10 pounds but that's a lot just to be holding for a review this is uh, the date and time, and I guess you can set it. This is a um, self-timer, whatever. Here's a little dial thing you turn right here. And this is focus, auto, and manual. I keep all of my stuff on auto focus just so you don't have to worry about it. This is the only way to see your stuff is through the viewfinder let's see if you can see in no I don't guess you could but 
This thing is cool. It's a Signature 2000. It sounds like it's from the future from back then because 1989, you put Signature 2000 and everybody's looking forward to the year 2000. So they made it seem cool. And I guess this is like a speaker to listen to your stuff. Oh, it's actually soft. It's like a cushion. That's weird. See if you can see this. It's like a cushion that you'd sit on or something. It's weird. I mean, it's cool though. The actual microphone, I guess, that it picks up on is right here. When I bought it, it was already like that, so couldn't do nothing about it. I mean, it's not a big deal. This is actually cool though. You can hold it like this, and then you look in. But I don't see why you'd want to hold it like this unless you're just carrying it to take somewhere else. Because if you're holding it like this, you can't really look in the same way. Not really, anyway. Now this is cool, look at that. Open that up and there's record, pause, rewind, play, fast forward, stop, eject. That's cool. And I guess you would open the thing up with this. Well, that says power. Can you read it? Yeah, it says power, that's cool. This thing is kind of heavy. I mean, I'm really a very, very strong person, but I wasn't expecting to have to hold this for the whole review. Now this thing is, uh, I guess you've already seen these buttons. I'm going to actually show you what a VCR tape looks like. Here we go. Okay, and this is actually a VCR tape. This thing actually takes these tapes. If you look closely, you can see that it pretty much will go in there, sort of. But I guess it goes on like right here somewhere. It goes in there and look, this thing is crazy. Look at that. It will go in there. I guess you put it in just like this though. If you really, it goes in just like that. That is insane. This thing is huge. But I love it. It's awesome. It's history. And I like collecting video cameras. So this is awesome. Look how big this, I'm going to probably pop this open for you to see. I haven't used a VCR tape and ever. Don't want to break it. I mean, I'm never going to use this again, but I can't get it open. I was going to show you what the tape actually looks like. The actual tape. Let me put on my night vision. I'm using the Sony HDR CX560 and this is night shot mode on it. On the CX560 Handycam can't see it too good let me almost stop the tape I'd turn off night shot instead almost stop the tape instead of just turning off night shot on accident but uh see it takes these kind of tape and look how big this thing is I mean it's huge this is what they used to record on in the 80s and they also had high 8 or video 8 that's what it was video 8 and they had Betamax. I don't know how big those are, but this is a VHS full size. And nowadays we use this. This is my favorite way to record an SD card. Look how small it is. SD card. This is a class 10, which is good. Right now these are 20, there's a $15 at Walmart, class 10, 16 gigabyte. $15 at Walmart. That's a good deal. And in HD LP mode on a Sony Handycam, you can record about I think six hours on 16 gigabytes, five megabits a second for a video. And look at the difference. This is insane. You can have like 50 of these compared to one of these. Probably uh, actually way more than 50 because like if you look close, 10 of these could fill up this part. So you can have like a hundred of these. That's This is like the difference in 1989 and like 2010. That's when Sony Handycam started using SD cards. Now that is amazing. Let me show you one other cool thing. Now look. This is the battery with this. Look how big the battery is. This is insane. Some people might be interested in reading that, so I'll put that up. But look at the Sony bloggy. Look, the bloggy is way smaller than just the battery for this camera. I mean, look at the difference. And this is high definition, this Sony bloggy 3D. I do have a review of this if you're interested in it. 3D bloggy, you'll see it in the picture if you're interested. But um, this thing is high definition. It does way better than this, and it's way smaller. It shows you how technology is improving. 
and what I'm thinking is uh, like later on in life instead of video cameras you'll have like a a debit card that'll be your camera it'll be as thin as a debit card and you'll put it in your wallet and you'll be like that's my camera and I'm sure they could do it someday but look here is actually another battery um, this thing is the battery look at this this is my favorite bloggy the bloggy uh, PM5 from 2010 this is my favorite bloggy because it takes SD cards and it has a swivel screen and everything and it's pretty cool it's only mono sound but look at the difference this thing is insane the Sony bloggy PM5 is my favorite that's why I do have five of these. I do, I do have reviews of these too. Hopefully you're interested and you'll go watch them. And hopefully you'll be interested in making videos to start your little, start your channel and hopefully you'll do good. I forgot to show you in here. Whoops. Let me try to turn night shot mode on so you can actually see in. I guess you don't really need it on, but this is a record button when you're holding the camera like this. Well, I can hold the camera like this. I mean, it is heavy, but you press record right there that's awesome look at the zoom buttons that's even cooler too this is awesome as an oh yeah i already showed you that record button there's a record button right there i don't know why you'd want to use that one i mean i guess you you might be able to you have to have really big hands my hands are more than normal already i guess this record button is if you're using a tripod you just press it on there and that's it this, I was really happy when I bought this. I, I didn't mind paying $20 even though I knew I would never actually make one video with it. But I thought it was awesome. Now let me show you that I have to move this camera so you can see what I'm about to show you. See that's how big it is. That's amazing. I have to show you what this thing came in. Now as you know this is a Signature 2000. This is the actual box that it came in. This is my hand. Let me show you something else. Look how big this box is compared to an SD card. That's crazy. Let me show you. This is the box that came in. Let me show you that it actually... Look at that. The camera actually goes in there. Let me see if I can do this without nothing falling. Let me see which way it would go. Okay, I'm looking. I guess it would be like this. No, that's wrong, I guess. I guess the big part will go down here. No, it has to be the other way. I don't know which way this thing goes in. Okay, I guess that might work. Yeah, I guess it goes in just like this. I think. Let me make sure that box part ain't going to be sticking out. Yes, that's awesome. Look at that. I closed it. It's like a magic trick. My hands do look kind of strong because I've been curling 65 pounds of one arm 40 times each arm. And that's good. I, I used to do 75 pounds, but I'm just going to do 65 for now. I mean, just for like a couple more weeks, I'm going to move up. Because when you get so strong, you can't just lift little weights. They get boring. Okay, look at that. That's pretty cool. This is the actual box that came in. Let me move that out of the way. This camera, this is the actual zoom. It has Signature 2000 right there, too. That's pretty cool. I guess that would have been popular back then. You can also put a light right here. It goes on just like one nowadays would. Now, look, let me try to figure this out. Okay, yeah, there we go. You hold it. Only way to look and see what you're doing is look through here. And that's pretty awesome. I guess that's pretty much all the buttons on here. Um, that's pretty much everything. And that's, that's all I could really show you. Let me show you inside here just in case you're curious. Uh, that's kind of cool. Look inside. This is night shot mode. And that's pretty much everything on here. I don't know what else to really let you see or anything, but... This thing is huge. It's cool though. And let me show you one more thing. I'm gonna show you. This is the Tackstar shotgun mic that I'm using. I highly recommend it. 
if you're serious about making videos and you should have a, a camera that does take microphone input and that's pretty cool it's $33 on Amazon I highly recommend it I just did a Minecraft video today with this microphone and it turned out really good I'm very happy but this is all I really got to tell you about this review so I'm surprised I ain't, I ain't dropped it already let me show you the rest of these things I don't guess you care about reading that but I just want you to see everything on here You've seen this in the intro and there's nothing really to show you for that there's a tripod mount that's always normal to have and it's it'd be weird if they didn't put a tripod mount on something because you pretty much need it oh and today is april 19th 2015 sunday only thing else to have to really say is i'm really thankful for everybody that's helped me on my zach tv 18 channel or holly i truly appreciate it Hopefully I keep doing okay and hopefully my channel grows and grows. Try to help as many people as I can. It's really busy every day I log in. But my goal is to help as many people as I can. This is my review and nothing else to really say about it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you'll watch my other reviews. Hopefully my reviews will inspire you to make home videos too. And just hopefully you'll create a channel after watching this. Thank you so much for watching. That's all I really got to say about this. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. And goodbye for now. We all believe in Zach. Zach is good! He's going to be the best director in the world. Get head anytime he wants. I'll have all his Playboy girls all over him. Get head anytime he wants. I'll have all his Playboy girls all over him. Zach is good! He's going to be the best director in the world. We all believe in Zach. He's gonna be the best director in the world. We all believe in Zach. 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 He's gonna be the best director in the world.